Hello and good evening. Um, tonight we have a very special guest, uh, Dominic Knight, uh, who is our guest speaker at the Urban Retreat Health and Wealth, the Foundation of Modern Wellbeing. Uh, welcome, Dominic. Thank you for having me. The Orphan Foundation of uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Just so, going to the voice. Fine. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Um, let me introduce our wonderful um, Dominic. Uh, Dominic, the mindset architect, um, who is um, the paramount figure among the world's most sought-after transformational experts in the realm of neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, and clinical hypnotherapy. Uh, Dominic's mastery is uh, unrivaled as his extensive expertise is deeply rooted in optimizing human performance. Uh, with an impressive career spanning 17 years in the heart of London's Harley Street, and the prestigious track record of conducting private seminars uh, for industry giants like Google Campus, uh, the Royal College of Surgeons, and IBM. Uh, and Dominic's results-oriented approach is undeniable. As Dominic Knight the, directs the journey, um, the art of guided visualiz visualization takes on a transformative dimension. His goal to engineer enduring life altering shifts that transcendence the mere fleeting motivation for the attendees. Through the power of strategic language, he systematically dismantles the barriers uh, that may be constraining your potential propelling you towards the embodiment of the archetypical game changer and master of money. Uh, Dominic doesn't just empower the audience, he equips them with the keys to unlock their fullest potential and shatter boundaries. And obviously Dominic's book, uh, The End Gamers, Architects of Destiny. Uh, highly, highly recommended, and we're going to be talking about the book, which will also be available at our event. Um, welcome again, Dominic. Thank you for well, having the Thank you so much. Invitation. So, um, before we jump uh, into questions um, uh, to Dominic, we will uh introduce uh viola will introduce our event what is health and wealth urban retreat viola where dominique will be delivering his hypno wealth workshop yes hypno wealth hypno wealth good good evening everyone it's viola diamond heart here and of course we are cordially inviting you each and every one of you to join us on our absolutely amazing amazing extraordinary urban retreat that we are just putting it together and all the beautiful souls are just coming through and uh, yes it's going to be on 16th of march in beautiful college house so you got to be here at the heart of london where everything that living energy is still there and is the extraordinary place what we're going to do over there that's another a uh, very beautiful magical story that unfolds this is of course the urban retreat the foundation of modern living we are all here busy 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 in this busy london and um, lots of things are happening at the same time we are overwhelmed stressed depressed wah, lots of stuff going on so we thought that we're going to design this great um, meeting of the souls that would love to and professionals obviously that would love to jump into serenity and to find different um, reasons and different modalities how to be healthy wealthy and abundant so this is the one we're going to have uh, yes the yoga the gongs the journeys the hypno wealth with our amazing dominic here and also some shamanic breathing, the Akashic records, business, intuition, and you know, so much, so much, but all to do with the health and wealth. And we are so lucky to have Dominic 
Dominic Knight. I'm over excited to be able to join the field, the same field with you. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, Dominic, let's start um, by explaining what is um, hypnotherapy. Uh, a lot of uh, people are still not familiar with it. There's a lot of um, ideas about hypnotherapy. There's a lot of fears. So um, as, a, as a person who is working with this modality uh, for so many years, serving uh, international, also celebrity clients, um, what is your take on uh, what uh, hypnotherapy is? Well, I mean, it's because... The, even the, the topic of hypnotherapy, it's a little bit ambiguous. What exactly is it? And, you know, uh, does it work it, it is a really famous thing that most people will ask. The reality is hypnotherapy is it's the most powerful modality of human change in terms of a, a therapeutic model in the world. I'll conclusively say that. And I'll tell you why. Because everything that we do in life, like our behaviors, our habits, who we fall in love with, it's all hypnosis. We dwell on something, we think about it, we rehearse it in our minds, and then what happens, right? It becomes part of our behavior. So what I do with hypnosis is I use the same model of what people do to get themselves into problems. I use that to get them out of the problems because everything is within the human mind. And problems are never logical. Think of it this way. Let's say someone says in 12 weeks time, they want to have the body of their dreams. Well, you know what? It's really simple. Just eat well, exercise well, but who can apply it? So it's, it's not the logical part of themselves or someone wants to quit smoking or they want to get over someone. Well, just get over them. It's not that simple because there's these unconscious processes running in the background, they're subconscious. So when you resolve the issues in the unconscious mind, what happens is the problems start to disappear. Um, so, and that's why I can quite confidently say from what I've worked with, how effective um, hypnotherapy is in terms of resolving um, challenges that people face, as well as human optimization. To improve someone, to get them to a level greater than they've ever been before, it's all internal. It's not what they feel. I mean, they can physically do things, but the reason they're not applying themselves is because of an unconscious resistance. So once you deal with it at the unconscious level, then it frees them up to move forward. Uh, beautifully said. It, um, yeah, it, it, it makes a lot of sense and it's a very easy way of, of, of understanding. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Absolutely okay. fantastic. I have another question because like, you know, healthy, I am healthy, you know, I'm abundant and so on. But uh, as we are discussing, you know, over there, we're discussing, we're going to tap into the health and wealth. We know mm -hmm. that um, the problems with wealth, with money, uh, is a trigger for stress, insomnia, yes. anxiety, even depression and, you know, death eventually, mm. because when we go, oh, I have a shivers. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes. So it's like, how can we actually um, unlock those financial blocks or whatever they are through hypnotherapy? What, how is it possible? Well, it's removing the resistance and the resistance is in the subconscious. And also coming to terms and getting to a place where you're really comfortable with money and you're comfortable within yourself. Now, let me give you an example. If there's someone that has 200 million, you might think, well, they've got it. They're completely comfortable. They don't have any hangups. They're not worried. No, they're probably worried even more. And I'll tell you why. If you've got that level of finance, there are governments after you. You need to set particular boundaries. You need to have particular accounts in different parts of the world. You have to ensure everything is... Yeah, so the person is in a constant state of worry. And if someone has no money, they're worried that they don't have anything and they need to get money there. So do you see, it's a really delicate topic, irrespective of how much someone has, 
it's a really emotionally deep topic and it's linked to our health as well you know if, if you look at um let's say a, a man who is a trader or a banker if his finances start collapsing so does his testosterone his level of health is connected to it completely messes everything up so one must get to a place of real internal stability and from there they can activate channels to and it is the attracting abundance it's like think of it this way we're said to like follow our dreams it's not about following dreams it's about acting upon them and materializing them and making them real you know it's yes there will be elements of hustle and working towards something but it's working on yourself in such a way where those things gravitate towards you they come into your own orbit like you're so good people can't ignore you when you're there the opportunities appear yes but you know not that's the thing like not everyone of us we have that in that in abundance like you know the, that being super attractive like internally energetically so the money come easily to me or as we say like the mantras of manifestation yes the yeah. money come to me easily effortlessly and da, 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 da. we repeat that repeat that repeat that you know whether it's the kundalini yoga mantras or some other for self concept mm -hmm. we go into that and then is the point that you become like frustrated and it's like like what the it's like it's not working and then you just like whoosh, out so I suppose this is the point where actually the hypnotherapy could work. What well, exactly? Because it's not about affirming something. The affirmation and the visualization, it evokes a feeling. When it evokes a feeling in the unconscious, that feeling is the thing that attracts or manifests the thing that you want, right? Now, what stops people from having everything that they want, it's internal resistance, it's conditions. I can't do it because of X, Y, and Z. Or they'll have stories in their past that are playing out. So what hypnosis does is it helps clear up those inner conditions, the self-imposed conditions, and the emotions from the past that, a, that are causing that current uh, instability and and an inability to have the level of abundance that they want. By instructing the subconscious, you can start clearing out those conditions. Because someone might say, well, in order for me to be wealthy, I need to do this course, I need X amount of money, I need this X, Y, and Z, or I need to marry this person. But it's none of those conditions. As long as those conditions are playing in someone's mind or conditions from their past or reference points from the past, they are creating that past into the future. So it's really important to clear up the stories, the narrations, and those past things that led to the, to the status quo, and then build that sense of self of one who's completely abundant. To clear the stories, like for example, yes. something happened in the past, usually in the childhood, right? And yes. uh, mm, so there is that kind of memory. And um, like, how do you actually clear those stories? Like what happened, it happened. And uh, you cannot change it, can you? you here's the thing. There, there's two things you can do. One of them is to observe it realistically. When the emotional charge goes, it disappears. Then what happens is it doesn't play out into the future. I'll give you an example. Let's say someone says that, um, their father was never there when they were a child and, you know, they can't get to where they want to be and they've got this trauma. But then you ask them, well, how did that help you, your father not being there? Because they're only giving the negative. They'll say, well, it, it didn't. But if you keep asking the question, no, how did it serve you? What was good about that? You might find that person became, um, you know, hyper-independent or they became very... Um, driven to succeed because of the absence of the father. So it wasn't just a bad thing. So when they see it from a balanced perspective, it neutralizes it. From there, you can also help with creating memories of abundance from the past, even if it wasn't from the past. And I'll explain why this works. 
the unconscious mind doesn't distinguish between what's real and what's imagined. If you saw a horror film and then you suddenly jump, but it's not real. Your body's responding as if it's real. If you're dwelling on a past memory, well, it's over, but it still carries a charge. So the imagination, the emotion triggers things. Now, if you imagine a more abundant, successful childhood, it has the potential to proceed into the future. And I'll give you a great example, Coco Chanel, right? She used to dream of opulence and royalty. She even used to lie to people about where she was from, but she was saturating her mind with abundance that didn't even have an original basis. And from there, it started to play out. Nice, but well, there's a hope for us. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thank you. I I hope that more we're going to have over on retreat because you know when we go, it's just like we go into all those meanders of everything, yeah. and we like to explore. But the yes, we don't want to bore anybody. We rather want them to come to us so we can actually explore all of that together. So, Kasia, what's your next question? <laughs> Uh, I think it's it's a question that a lot of people ask. Um, uh, so let's let's clarify. What are the most often um, uh, appearing misconceptions uh, people have about uh, hypnotherapy? Like, for example, I I speak about um, or I, I recommend uh, hypnotherapy to like to my family, to my friends, and uh, often I hear. Oh, but like, is somebody gonna just play with my mind, uh, or, or you know, there, uh, or basically, I cannot be hypnotized. I, I'm just not, you know, this type of person. I hear this thing. So, um, is it something, Dominique, that you come across very often uh, with with your clients, with potential clients? It, it is. There's a lot of, well, what if I can't be hypnotized? What if it's dangerous? All this stuff. The reality is every 90 minutes, the brain goes into a particular type of alpha frequency. So your brain does it anyway. So like you zone out of things all the time. When the mind zones out, it becomes easier to influence. So everyone is hypnotizable, right? You just, you, you help create the right moment for that. Mm. Sometimes people say, well, what if I'm hypnotizing and I can't wake up? No, they'll wake up. Like you wake up from a dream. No one's ever stuck in hypnosis. The other thing is the beauty of the unconscious mind is that we have a very strong protective mechanism there. So even if someone was to try to put negative suggestions or this or that, unless you're inclined to that, your barriers are strong enough to protect you from anything negative. And the reality when you're hypnotized, when what happens is your intent for what you want to achieve has a potential to manifest. So if you imagine, well, you know, I want to become more confident and lose weight or I want to earn X amount of money, that intent is already there. So it becomes a lot easier for me to work with. But yeah, there are plenty of misconceptions around the world of hypnosis. Um, the reality is it works and it works very, very powerfully. Uh, that's very true. And uh, what about Dominique, like the, the skeptics, you know, people, for example, that work in um, uh, science or maybe medical field yeah. or research, they are very difficult to be convinced. And, uh, you know, these things uh, are, are not so, so easily, um, you know, sold to them, so to speak. Um, how do you deal with those people that can, that are super skeptical? skeptics I, I, i'm so results orientated so if someone says well there's no evidence for it but someone has actually overcome something and they've got better well that's evidence it can be done and we live in a very cynical skeptical world so it's about saying well let's look at the results mm. let, let, let's look at look if someone has made a hundred million and they've done it really well and they've replicated they've built great businesses it's probably better to learn from that person than a teacher of economics who's struggling to pay their own bills right it, it's better to get information from someone who's achieved the results not only for themselves but for others so I always bring it back to let's look at results let's look at the 
highest success rates in the world or individuals that have produced outstanding results. Let's really go with that. Let's not worry too much about, you know, facts and figures in a textbook. Let's look at something that works. And when we start moving more towards that, that's when, and that's why it's not really about convincing anyone. It's looking at results. That's the most important thing in the world. And if someone's been able to produce a particular type of result, well, I, I need to learn from that. I need to learn from this person. I need to work with this person because they've achieved results for themselves and for others. Let's go with that. So that person could be a hypnotherapist, psychologist, doctor, it doesn't matter. It's looking at do they have the results and the track record and then you go with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a question. Like during, the, during our retreat, because each of us, we have more or less like one hour, one hour when we can uh, share our expertise, like what we are doing in the best way. And uh, with, within the hypnotherapy, like what kind of participants, what kind of like lasting results? Can you promise any lasting results in yeah. one hour? That's my target, you know, for 17 years, and God knows now, maybe over 16,000 therapy hours, my target was within one session to create profound change, no matter how long the person had the problem for. So that was, and that has always been my standpoint, because the human brain learns very quickly. It doesn't learn slowly. If someone says, well, this thing's going to take months or years, it, that means that thing doesn't work, because the human brain does not work that way. The human brain works with speed. So what I do within the session is take people into a profoundly altered state where they're extremely relaxed, clear up the self-imposed conditions that they had and the resistance, remove the resistance and start building that sense of self, that greatest expression of themselves. And when you have that, the things that you desire, they start coming into your scope and then you start working towards it. And you'll know if you if you're desperate for something to happen, you're trying to force it. It doesn't work. It's uh -huh. the moment you let go. <laughs> right? Oh my God! I have so many desperate measures. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, can I do it now? Right now? You know, now is the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that moment of letting go. It starts flooding in. Yeah, it is true to let go. But now, how? What is the easiest way? for actually letting go, especially when we are pressed on for time, especially when we have to build something very quickly because there's always something waiting for us to be done six months ago. Let, let's say, you know, if someone's about to run a race, the, the, if it's a launch forward, what do they do? They step back. There's a pause. And my mentor, one of my mentors, um, he wrote a book called Teachings of Billionaire Yen Su, uh, Colin Turner, really, really brilliant man, professor. And he said to me that, and he's worked with some of the top CEOs in the world, he said it's infinite patience, immediate results. Like things just flood in when you're patient, right? So it, again, it's very difficult. But <laughs> we're going to work on that during, during the retreat. <laughs> <one of them. laughs> By the way. So, so um, because they like you know what's good for patience building patience building websites like you do no <laughs> building <No>. patience <laughs> oh god yoga yeah. mm -hmm. well, it's a train it's physical it's the training it's the i really like that i hadn't really looked at it that way but it makes sense to hold oneself in a particular position it, it's um it's training the nervous system mm -hmm. Yeah, really that's, nice. you know, I prefer Kundalini Yoga than any other one because it's like it it suits my energetics. You know, you just have to find your own specific field where you can actually relax into it. But as you say, move backward a little bit to stay, to be patient, and then to move forward exactly. with the flow. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah, I always say to everybody when they ask me, what do you do? I said, like, I'm a yoga mentor. They go, what? No. <laughs> so, well, there we are. And quite a good one. So it is it is wonderful to work with this bundle of energy and to see like what's going on. So yes, patience, patience, pace, wait, let the hand of God work for you. This is like those are the words of one of my teachers. So amazing. Beautiful.
So, Dominic, people who will show up on the um, Urban Retreat on 16th of March, what can they expect from your session? Let's say they come yes. up, oh, I want to lose weight, or I want to, I don't know, meet the man of my dreams, or I want to, like, make more money. These are the popular things, right? Uh, how that session can, can be um, uh, helpful to them? The, the way it's helpful is because all of those things are to do with a sense of self. So become the person, instructing the unconscious in a way where you become the person that has all those things, right? So at really fundamental level, like people use the term self-concept and it's a sense of self. When you're able to, lead, and this is what I'll be doing to, 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 to our audience in the retreat, is leading in them into that state of self, that sense of self. There's a great quote from Deepak Chopra, that place within yourself where nothing is impossible. So when you go in there without resistance and you know, with, and this is why I'm saying getting rid of the thing of conditions, and you know that you can make things occur because you're, you're reliant on a on the power within you that built the entire universe then your confidence and when you start applying yourself you apply yourself very differently people attract to you they're drawn to you you become magnetizing and it's all to do with that sense of self which is entered in via the unconscious via that energy within ourselves and that energy and the beautiful thing about the retreat is that we're going to be taking people through all sorts of things from the yoga to the kundalini to the hypnosis. So it's like we're activating that within everyone, bringing out the, the, the very best within them. An absolutely transformational time for everyone. We are making, we are going to make that new, new generation of healthy and wealthy people. Absolutely, yeah. because you can't have real health without wealth. They're all interconnected, the corporeal and the non-corporeal, as in like within and without, right? It, it, it's experiencing the fullness and the aliveness of our own internal world as well as our external world. Like we live in an expanding, abundant universe. There's no such thing as scarcity. Like there actually isn't, you know, there are particular meteorites that, you know, and these are just mediocre meteorites in space that contain more precious metals than the entire Earth. Like the whole world, the universe is an expansion. And it's really for us to carry that message, first of all, within that can be expressed without. Because all the conflicts we see around the world, they're a conflict over scarcity, over a so-called scarce resource. And the reality is nothing is scarce. Mm. Right, right. Yeah. One more question, Dominic. <laughs> How did you make it to, to Harley Street with your hypnosis? What was your <laughs> it's like you know, it's like, well, I have a few friends over there and it just like oh my god, you know, such a such a wonderful place to run the business from. So the question is like your journey with the you know with the hypnotherapy to actually be that celebrity clinical hypnotherapist it built from you know many years ago before harley street i was in corporate sales and then i was learning a lot about communication and that's when i discovered um conversational hypnotherapy and i also came across the book think and grow rich by napoleon hill which is one of the best selling books in history it's such a beautiful book and he spoke a lot about the subconscious and influencing the subconscious mind. At that time, the work that I was in wasn't going particularly well. My life was a complete mess, disaster. Anyway, <laughs> it, it's one of those, like, you know, stories or, you know, a rocky story or before and after. Anyway, nothing was going right. When I started to rethink really and grow rich and I started to understand how we create things within our imagination, and then I started to learn about the subconscious mind. And then from there, I, start, I started studying with the founder of NLP, the co-founder, Dr. Richard Bandler. I studied hypnotherapy with Paul McKenna and some of those. And it just, and the more I would imagine things working out, everything started to fall into place. 
So I set particular goals within a very short period of time from having nothing. I started earning more in one week than I had in an entire year. I just started to build and build from there. Things happened. It wasn't I was hustling and fighting to get in place there, this and that. It was almost, well, it looked like luck, though it wasn't, because there was so much investment of energy, of learning, but it was a flow. So when I became that person, that's when things started working out. Nice. That's a little bit about my story. And then I took it from the perspective of, of any problem that anyone had. I came from the premise that there's a solution. It can be solved. So I've even cured a couple of people who were paralyzed. I took a 15-year-old boy and I got him walking within a couple of months. I've taken some of the most extreme cases in the world and resolved it. Because everything, you can't have an up without a down. You can't have an in without an out. You can't have an illness without a cure. So I came from that premise that if there's a problem, there's obviously a solution. So that's, again, one of the things that I speak about in the book. Like one of the massive keys for the success in helping people is the belief that they can be helped. My belief overrides their doubts. And in doing so, the certainty helps because we evoke things off of one another, right? So if I believe in you, not just wavering, but absolutely believe in you completely, it will affect you. It will improve you. It will get you to where you want to be. Oh, how wonderful. Please do. Okay. <laughs> Every, any help is, you know, welcome. <laughs> welcome. You know, in Kundalini Yoga, we have this one of the sutra, which actually got me myself through very difficult times and uh, la la la. Um, and I was always saying, like, whatever I was, like, I should have tattooed that on my forehead. Uh, <laughs> because anytime the something is happening and which is like not very comfortable for me or you know challenging and uh, we have that there is a way through every block find a way that's yes? beautiful there is a way through every block this is the sutra uh so yes so if that's the thing there is a way through every block that means there is a way so find it don't sit and cry or Da, 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 scream or whatever you know at that particular moment i would be doing because god knows but instead of going into this craziness to focus there is a way through the block just focus and once the question is there what's the way the answer comes immediately doesn't it that's beautiful yeah i, mean, I love that sutra I've, this first time i've come across it but look, you're taking it from the approach that there's a solution. And we live in a world where it's broadcast that there are no solutions. There's not enough money. There's too much illness. There's X, Y, and Z. You can do this. You can't do that. So it's like we need to really clear all of that, clear that noise. There is a way through every problem, every block. Yeah. And by I can imagine by, by using that as a, a mantra, how powerful that, that is. It's removing the... Look, the only person on the planet that stops you from getting what you want or where you want to be in life is you. There's no one else. It's not a yeah, government. But that's no very troubling when you say to somebody or even, you know, to myself that I am the one who is blocking everything yeah. to me. I don't like that. I want yeah. to blame everyone around. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all well, like that. But... <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, no, everyone is at fault, you know. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that's what that is that um this is the way most of the people think yeah we i mean look we all have our moments but when we come to the perspective that we have the power within us it's the inner conversation and it's the conditions we are imposing that's causing the problem so when we clear those conditions we set the stage the potential for us to get on that path to create the life that we want for ourselves. Beautifully said. Thank you. Beautiful. No, fingers, 16th of March. Fingers crossed, yes. <laughs> yes. So I uh, would like to invite everyone for uh, 16th of March, London, call it house, uh, for our health and wealth urban retreat uh, to meet uh, Dominique. Uh, to experience beautiful kundalini activation and uh, gong bath uh, relaxation with viola 
to stretch your body and feel alive with the yoga session uh, with me at the beginning of the day. Uh, also to experience uh, another fantastic modality of uh, Akashic Records and how you can use it for business with Marina Beach, the Soul Alchemist. And meet the fantastic Shian uh, Alegria, a modern um, well-being entrepreneur and a shaman uh, that will show you how to use the shamanic tools uh, to upgrade your health and wealth. Marina cannot wait. Yes, we cannot wait. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, absolutely epic. Absolutely right. Uh, and also um, uh, Dominic's book. Let me just make myself a little bit bigger so we can show the book. Uh, End Gamers, Architect of Destiny. So um, a lot of things that Dominic just mentioned now, you will find in this in this beauty and it can stay with you whether you are going to sleep or where you're going for holidays it can be like your best friend so um uh, and yeah so dominic uh, get a lot of these books because probably there will be a uh, many people that would love to uh, come back home with one definitely i'm the first one you already <laughs> It was so funny when, when I said, like, oh, listen, I've gone to Dominic Knight. And she and Kasha goes like, this. this. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, right. Um, do we have any questions uh, for um, uh, from you who are watching us live? And thank you for watching. And thank you for watching the replays. Um, we will put the um, a link to the uh, urban retreat. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have the early bird uh, tickets going on, so you can spend an absolutely epic day uh, with us. Um, upgrade your vibes, um, work on your health and wealth in a truly epic and magical way. Uh, at the moment, it's only fifty-five pounds, so it's 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 a super super um, early bird price. Let me put it this way. Oh yes, mm -hmm. it's gonna go on till Valentine's Day, till Wednesday. So maybe that might be a gift for your loved one, or as I said before, maybe you want to get rid of the loved one to actually feed <laughs> <laughs> feed him, her, yourself, like all of you together or separately coming to that really completion you know in a way i remember like sometimes it was much better to go on my own for such an event or as i call it the healing retreat or something because then i was able to focus only on myself and that i always found very beneficial and because my nature is to look after the others then if I did go with somebody, then I would not pay attention to what's going on within me. And then at the end, I was like, oh, actually, what was going on over there? <laughs> so this is that kind of recommendation from me. It's like, if you can, you know, it depends like on you. Get the tickets now. Maybe this is the, the Valentine's gift. Just Absolutely. Great idea for a, for a gift to yourself. Uh, to work on, or well, not to work, but just just to have a lot of fun. <laughs> that that's what we'll be definitely having, right? It certainly will be <laughs> amazing. We're so much looking forward. Okay. Yes, recharge, recharge, rejuvenate. Let go of all the things that you know, they have to be let go. And sometimes we just hold to different things for no reason. Maybe that, that would be the time when we can actually relax and let go of the past, let go of the um, limiting beliefs that we may have regarding health, wealth, prosperity. Or maybe over there you will meet someone that, um, that one special person. Amazing, amazing. The collective energy as well at the event, it's, uh, it's something to be immersed in. Because the collective energy is something that can really be directed towards the greater good. That's why that's why events like this are so transformational. Because it's the collective energy and the intent of the group there. It's really, really powerful. Absolutely, yes. Uh, very, very well, well pointed out, Dominique. So perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Amazing. So, uh, do we have any questions? Uh, our our beautiful audience is uh, sitting very quiet. Maybe you touched up on everything, to be honest, because we've been <laughs> quite descriptive tonight. Uh, we definitely delivered a lot of uh, food for thought. Um, so, yes, uh, Marina agrees. Collective group energy is so powerful, and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful one. So, um, make sure you, you join us if you want to experience that, of course. Um, we truly, truly cannot wait. Amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, amazing, Marina. Absolutely amazing. And there are so many people, Marina, that are looking forward to see more about, learn more about the Akashic Records. Uh, so good, good suit of um, modalities for modern, healthy and wealthy, uh, high vibe people, I would say. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And Dominique, thank you so much once again for actually joining our gang. Uh, for this amazing urban retreat. Once again, this is in Colet House, which is uh, the tube is the Baron's Court. It's just between the Baron's Court and Hammersmith on Piccadilly Line. It's like one minute from, from the tube. The, the hall is extraordinary, so beautiful. Uh, this is like, yes, this is just the beginning of this journey. So Amazing. be at our premiere. Absolutely. Oh. Thank you again. Thank you, Dominique, for being with us and see you on 16th of March. See you then. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.